Seymour helped us a lot to predict where we should make interventions. We essentially turned the Rhino War around by increasing the speed of intervention and capacitating rangers with information on the ground. It's easy for us to remember short-term incidents going back a few months, however, going back a number of years, that data, housing that in a secure location, interpreting that, making us understand the threat is where the value in Seymour lies. It's very valuable from a conservation management aspect. It's a one-touch application in terms of putting the data in and even more user-friendly in terms of getting the information out. 7063, We found two spots heading north side, sir. Yeah, I think we can try to track that spot and then we are going to tell you what we found there, sir. There seems to be a water hole close by in this area. This could be a possible target area. There's a high density of rhino in this area here. Now let's take a look at the neighbouring properties and look at possible crossing points and see where we can make an intervention. Let's see if we can get something onto the Seymour chat group so everybody gets on board. I uh, think we have to let our neighbours know that they can expect an incursion in 20 minutes in one of the two locations that you indicated. Mark, yeah? Hello Mark, I know you're in a meeting, sorry to disturb, but we had an incursion last night and it seems the poachers are heading in your direction. We have two possible crossing points and we have posted on the Seymour chat group. Please take a look and then we can discuss. Thanks for letting me know. I'll send the guys out straight away. Natasha, it seems like we know where they're going approximately and we have the K9 unit up front. I think let's ask the K9 unit to do an interception. Got it from the pilot. She dropped the dogs on the track. The dogs has taken the scent. They're on the spoor. Okay, the poachers are close to the fence, and our team is close to them. So they might just get to that fence where Mark is informing that they are at pole 52. Hi Arch, I just wanted to let you know that those tracks that they've picked up on Seymour now are very, very familiar to the ones that we picked up two weeks ago. Thank you very much for that information. I'll pass it on to Mark immediately. Yeah, we've got uh, one poacher here, there were two, the other one ran away, but the one we've got now, we've got the rifle with him, it's 458, can you read me? They've just apprehended the guys, two of them, the two that you had the tracks off, they're in hand, nobody wounded, no rhino horn with them, but we have the rifle and the kit fully out. This technology was created to connect everyone and everything in an organization and across organizations. So CIMO comprises of four main blocks. How to collaborate, how to integrate multiple different systems and sensors and bring them together into an intuitive, integrated view, how to create awareness, and awareness exists on many different levels, so that being on the tactical level and operational level, with a view towards influencing strategic type decision making. 
The fourth block is insight. Insight allows you to gain a deeper understanding of your information so that you can make informed decisions in the field. The benefits of having informed decisions is to have reduced reaction times and optimize your limited resources. So CMO comprises of a software ecosystem which brings together disparate systems, sensors, and people. We have a platform that we've built multiple applications of that work across web, desktop, and mobile that allows people to securely collect data, visualize the data, analyze the data uh, towards making those informed decisions. The team has gone through great lengths to secure the data. Coming from a military command and control environment and background, security has been the number one requirement from day one. CIMO allows an organization to work within their own information silos, allowing them to freely operate on their day-to-day -day operations on the context of their own data. CMO consists of a map where we can see any event that happens at any time. CMO has tremendously helped us. The virtual capability of CMO makes it possible for people to appoint one guy to do the work of 10 people in an operational headquarters. But because we capacitate people to have information, to arrange the information in what gets priority, what is general and what can wait, it's easy to see in color. What is a rifle shot, what is an incursion, and what is a contact, and what is a six-day-old carcass? It's obvious where you should go. So it capacitates small groups of people to do the work of lots of people. Training and support is a massive part of the process the team goes through when adopting CMO in a new environment. The team wants to contribute towards solving this problem together with the organizations, with the end users. Uh, we see it going forward. Uh, together and being part of the solution.